So this is going to be the storage for the majority of my nail art supplies by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing all of my storage stuff. And this actually isn't all of my storage. If I was to do that, the video would probably be five hours long. Because um, I have things stored all over my house. It would be like a house tour combined with storage. And yeah, it would be a lot. It would be a lot. So I'm just going to focus on the main storage stuff that I have at the moment. And all of it's from Light Take. And I'll put links to the products or to the little storage things that I have in the description box below. And I'll also just tell you a little bit about those throughout as well. And so I hope you find this helpful maybe. And don't forget to click subscribe to my future videos as well. So these are the things I'm going to be showing you. So I've got this little like tackle box thingy. This little polish rack. that um, This is like an asymmetrical little storage thingy. And then a spinning rack. And so these things, like I said, this is not everything, obviously. I've got things hidden all over my house. It'd be a scavenger hunt. Usually when I need to find something, I have to, like, tear my house apart. So I don't think I could possibly show you because it'd be a disaster. But anyways, so I've got this little storage rack that's clear acrylic. And it's really super bright clear acrylic, which I like because it just looks really nice. And it's just this, like, a triangle on the side. And then it's got these tiers. I don't have all my polish in that. I put the polish in there that I'm going to be using at the moment. So I grab the colors I know I'm going to need for that moment and I keep like my base coat my top coat in there so that it's always accessible and easy to grab and then just the colors I need at the moment so that's what I have going on there I just filled it so it looked better so it didn't look so sparse and then here I've got just these are the things that I always keep on my desk for whatever reason that may be and so I'm sorry my camera was being all jumpy I was trying to get the best angle on it I've got um, little cosmetic sponges and then I have some q-tips and my nail forms and so like I said this is stuff that I keep always because I use it constantly so I have it in just this little container and it's really cool once again clear acrylic so it's nice and bright and it almost looks like glass even though it's not so you have to really worry about dropping it and breaking it which I do worry about because I drop things all the time and so that's really nice and it's like I said it's clear and it it looks pretty I like my it's not really a desk. I have a corner of a table. I like that area to look clean. And so this is something like just like the other acrylic shelf that I have that just looks nice. And so then this little tackle box, it's not filled yet, as you can obviously see. I just got this and I don't quite know what I'm going to fill it with. And I've got some other similar items. All of these are basically the same thing. Um, but you can just, there's little removable little um like dividers that you can put on on the one side to separate them into the size that you need them and that's the reason why i'm showing you the empty one is so that you can see how it works i would think you just fill it with all your all your stuff and so yeah you can decide how many there's a whole bunch it's like a stack of those little dividers so you can decide how many spaces you need so like for rhinestones you can put them relatively close together and then if you have something like nail tips, you can make the spaces bigger. And this little thing is so nice for doing nail stuff, especially if you travel a lot because it keeps it all contained and in one spot. Or if you've got a whole bunch of stuff, maybe in three spots because they all, you know, maybe can't fit everything in there. But like I said, it's... And that's something else. This is a tackle box. It's not necessarily made for nail supplies specifically, which is good because it's less expensive that way, which is something that might not be thought of immediately i mean i've got i don't think any of my storage stuff the other storage stuff it's like a box i don't have anything that's specifically for nail art because that's going to be so much more expensive so now for this little spinning rack it spins wonderfully uh the one thing or there's a couple things that i want to mention is that when i got it it was scuffed inside a little bit i don't know if you can see those marks um but mainly just in that one section it's got some scuffs on it and the other thing is it came disassembled which I, I mean, I guess that is fine. It makes sense. It'd be a lot easier to ship that way, but it also didn't come with very clear instructions and it was a little difficult to put together. Um, that was the main thing. I had my nephew look at it. He worked on it for a while. He figured it out. I was, I was doing something. I think it was painting at the time. I don't know. So anyways, so I just fill it. That's where I've got all my gel polish because I can then have that closed away. So it's not in the sunlight. Whereas my regular polish gets hit by the sun almost 24 hours a day or not 24, but all the hours it's sunny, which in the Midwest right now is about two, two hours we get sun. Um, but anyways, so that's nice for the gel because then I can just store that away and it's not going to get hit and get light. And once I got it put together or once my nephew got it put together for me, it was really sturdy and it's not going to come apart. And the spinning mechanism, it doesn't click or it doesn't stick at all. It spins really well and it's not, 
I'm not afraid of it falling apart. And on the top of it, this is the part that I think is really nice. It's got these small little compartments that are the perfect size for storing nail tips, which is awesome. It's not a closed in container. And these aren't the tips that I use on the normal basis. These are the ones that I would use if I was to do someone's nails, not my other tips that are a little bit thicker that I use for making my designs on. So those are where I have those ones. So I can bring that out if I'm doing somebody's nails like my sister. And then in the top, there's a perfect little place for your brushes. I can put like my backup brushes in there because I've got multiples of a lot of them and things like foil glue and things I don't use nearly as often. All the stuff I use frequently, I have, and like I said, kind of like a box that's next to me, but it's closed away and it's not seen. I like things to be I'm not really the most organized person. And so, like I said, I've got stuff strewed all over my house. Like all of a sudden I'll be painting like, oh, I need to go to the garage. And then I'll get and I'll grab, I don't know, a brush or a bottle of paint. And I'll be like, oh wait, I need to get this. It's upstairs in my room and I'll be running all over the house. You guys would probably get seasick if you <laughs> were watching a video of me with all of the weird little cubby holes and hiding places I have for all the stuff. It's kind of a mess but anyways so that's this thing and all of these things are from like take and they're really really inexpensive so if you're looking for getting some supplies and some storage that is on the cheaper side definitely check that out and i'll see you in my next video bye